Hello and welcome back to another video and happy new year to you all. Uh, in today's video we're going to be going into some Final Fantasy 14, going back to some Final Fantasy 14 and before the new year we um, when we did some of uh, the trailer for Dawn Trail and looked at the music and that and I said maybe we'll go back and we'll do Endwalker which is what we're going to be doing today. Um, so this is the first video I've recorded um, from after the new year after the christmas period so i'm getting a bit back into it so hopefully we can get back into form fairly quickly but it's it's been a, a i've had a little bit of a break um and recorded some things in advance so if hopefully when i'm not i'm not as I'm not a bit slow a bit out of practice but we'll see how we get on um so before we get into the reaction please do like the video and subscribe to the channel as well um i'd really really appreciate that i really want to push forward into 2024 so i'd appreciate that and also let me know what we should do um next in the comment section below i would appreciate that a lot but, but anyway let's get straight into the reaction then and uh, let's talk about some of the things that endwalker footfalls and some of the differences um and we remember from dawn trail before and i'll leave a link hopefully i'll remember to do that um for the dawn trail and um, and how that song was very, you know, like fun, lively, and bouncy, and it's the start of like a, a new adventure, and it's very positive. Now we're going to see the contrast of this with uh, with footfalls, um, and how this is the end of a of a saga. So we'll go from here. All right, let's get into it now. In three, two, one, go. Now, of course, I, I, I hate to pause it immediately, but um, I wanted to speak about those chords. So we've got the kind of a bit of a droning, these minor chords um, going straight in um, to it as well. And it, it was kind of nirvana -y. you know, it's very like somber um, start to the song and kind of dark and... Yeah, kind of sad in a, in, a, in a sense, or moody, I guess. Let's keep going. But even that, we get a nice little drum beat to kind of kick us forward a bit, which is nice. Uh, but then we get these very soft, like, these sung lyrics. Also kind of sang, like I said, Nirvana at the start. I, I didn't plan to say that at all, but it's kind of like very much a Kurt Cobain kind of vocal it's kind of light but still kind of deep in a sense it's kind of hell it's kind of airy it's airy but it still has that depth to it and it's kind of gruff and whispery and kind of mysterious in a way in a way So there's a few things going on here that I really, really like. Um, you can hear at the top of the mix, there's just a, a simple piano is going dun, 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 That nice top layer is really, really, kind of really suits it. And I also like how the second guitarist is just kind of strumming those chords and on the ends of the bars, letting them ring out and kind of, kind of elevating the song a little bit, uh, which is really nice, really, really nice. Also, uh, we're getting a little bit of strings in it, which is nice uh, as well. Um, string instruments like violins and stuff. Um, and also, I like how they've added kind of a, like a bit of a reverb onto the guitar now. It's sounding a little bit U2-ish, which uh, is adding a bit more breadth into the sound, which is very nice. <laughs> Yeah. 
right, before we move on. So that, that that's nice. So we switched to the female vocalist, and I think this is the the same vocalist that did answers. I think you could kind of interpret it as a representation of the voice of Heidelin. Um, and if you've played Endwalker, you know that Heidelin is featured in, in the expansion. Uh, that's not really a spoiler. It's pretty obvious that was going to happen. Um, so that's nice, and I like how there's the kind of the choral sounds underneath um, underneath her her voice, which kind of is a bit of a callback to, you know, answers as well. Uh, kind of call back to there, which is very very nice indeed. Very very nice. Also, b before we went into the, the the that vocal bit, like the the guitar tone there was so spanky and bright. Really really nice guitar tone. <laughs> I've actually only, I've heard this loads and loads of times. Um, not loads and loads of times. I've, I've, I've obviously played the game and watched the trailer maybe a couple of times um, when it came out. But I've only just realized that, is that Dragon Song? That the, the Endwalker theme there, not the Endwalker theme, Heaven's War theme, sorry. You can tell it's my first video back. Um, the, the Heaven's War theme. Um, there but with the guitar and obviously we've got uh the, the dragon and we've got um it's oh, estinian of course we've got estinian as well um which is really cool i actually didn't notice that before that's great that's really really nice really nice callback And that a storm of blood born from blood, so storm blood, and um, then this gentleman, not this gentleman, but the, the physical form of this gentleman was um, brought to us in storm blood. And, they, and that that vocal was really really nice, just the kind of like the very visceral kind of. Um, singing but it just very cut it cuts through nice it's very aggressive very gruff um it's very difficult you know to get and get that kind of tone as well which is really really nice and again kind of that kind of grunge rock sort of feel we go from this kind of solemn kind of almost depressed kind of sound into this very aggressive angsty kind of sound which is very very nice really really cool <laughs> Such a good transition. Such such a nice transition visually and or audio audibly as well. Um, just to go straight from that kind of height of, of aggression with that music, and then just to switch it straight across into kind of a more laid back sort of jazz feel. Really, really nice transition and um, a nice way to bring the other characters in into the trailer as well. And I think the reason why the transition works because it is quite a switch, but the energy and the tempo is obviously still right up there, and there's still quite a lot of drama going on, particularly with the string instruments, um, which is why it works. It works really well. <laughs>
I also find it like for the, with that section, the the vocalist is kind of singing about the us, you know, in the sense of the the main character, um, which is you know kind of the overarching kind of guide, which I kind of, I think thematically uh, works. But I I really like that vocal as well, quite high up in the head voice. Um, but to keep that sustain and energy um, is really, really good, you know, really, really good for, for that kind of pace of, of music and very, very dramatic, you know, very, very dramatic at this point. And we are kind of in a full um, flow heading to, to the climax. Um, and we'll speak a bit more about the whole song in general when we get to the end, but let's carry on. And then we've kind of got that little section there where two turn tech goes tumbling through time, which is kind of the callback to the Shadowbringers, um, which is the main one of the main lyrics in, in the theme for Shadowbringers. Which I suppose we could go back and do that too. We could go back and do all the themes, really. But anyway, we'll carry on. We'll carry on for now. <laughs> That little bit is so cool, man. It's not. It's pretty simple in what it's going. Just going pretty simple in what it's doing and what the two the guitars are doing. But it's creating so much energy, and so it's kind of it really kind of grating and cutting. And it's like the start of a, a, a fight or something like that. It's it's really really nice, and the tone of both guitars is just really really nice as well. Proper like feels like like fight music in a sense. It's really really cool. Really really cool. <laughs> And that was just before we went into that transition, we also had the the mute that we had the chords, and then we had the muted like duck 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 that nice little chug that kind of takes us nicely across to um this kind of section of the song as well. A nice little transition, um, and because it's so like punctual um and muted strings in that sense is almost percussive, you know, in a, in a way. So it's almost you could have had um a drum fill. There, but I think the 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 um the muted strings is is um works really really well, um particularly for the kind of guitar and the kind of style um kind of grungy sort of style that we, we kind of have, um but then we're going into this full kind of belt and it's it's very good. Let's keep going. So I, I like um, how it's it's now very very grand. We've got this very very um, belting vocal, and we've got just the guitar underneath that's just strumming through, and like the quarter ring, and we've kind of got this kind of reverb of guitar over the top as well, just going do 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 do, which is kind of like the the the, the motif of the song. Um, but it's just allowing now the the vocal to sit on top and kind of drive it home for us um, what the themes are. And I just want to go back and listen to something quick. Now, we got, like, we won't be afraid to forge ahead. We won't be tired of all this pain. This is kind of like obviously the mission statement for the characters um, going into this, but also it's kind of like motivating for the players as well, kind of like to get excited and hyped for this part, this chapter of the story. Like, we won't be afraid, we're going to go into this um, and we're going to win. <laughs> And obviously the, you now the the song's picked up and it's gone a little bit higher as well. Um, 
can hear in the vocal and in the chords as well. And that's obviously used a lot in music to um, <laughs> elevate the end, um, particularly where you've gone quite hard. There's not much more you can do, so you just push it up in, in um, tone and in, in the higher registers. And it does kind of give it, that cuts through that a little bit more and gives it a bit more drama and that more dramatic end. And for a song like this, you kind of need to, need to do that. <laughs> And then it starts with, you know, kind of the chord. Well, it was ends where it starts with the chords. We kind of, it's definitely different in tone. Like going back to Dawn Trail, it's very, very different in tone. It's very somber. And then it gets very dramatic. It gets very aggressive. And then it kind of ends very dramatically. Whereas um, you can very much tell that Dawn Trail is supposed to be the, the start of a journey. You know, the, the music in there is representing that and it's it's new and it's an adventure and it's positive. And this is the opposite. And it's very kind of dark and mysterious. And But it obviously it has the climax towards the end that um, it's going to be a huge and dramatic end. And obviously if you played the expansion, I'm not going to spoil it. But to say that it's dark, depressing, dramatic um, is true of, of what happens in the story. Um, and I think it suits suits the theme perfectly well. And I, I think if we were to go back and do the other themes from from the other expansions, we would probably, you know, find find the same how how music how the music very much hints as to what the game and the expansion will be like. So maybe we can go back and do the others. But having said all of that, I hope this kind of makes sense. I hope this video wasn't too um, all over the place. I'm just obviously trying to get my head back into it after having a um, you know off of the holidays, uh, but we'll get back we'll get back into it as um, as we do more. So, but if you liked this video, please do like it, subscribe to the channel as well. What you want to do next? Let me know in the comment section below, and I'll get that on the the the, um, the playlist. But having said all of that, thank you all so much for watching. Happy New Year, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much. Goodbye.